So if we look at the first satellite, if we call this R1 squared, it's 1,440,000. So R1 is just the square root of this. If we take the square root on the calculator, we get that R1 is just 1,200. So the orbiting radius of the first satellite is 1,200. For the second satellite, R2 squared is 2,890,000. So R2 is just the square root, so R2 is 1,700. So one point that would fall in between these two paths is 1,400 and 0. Since we know that 1,200 and 0 would be on the path of the first satellite, and 1,700 and 0 would be on the path of the second satellite. So now, given that the radius of the satellite going through this point would be 1,400, we use our circle formula, sub in for r, so r is 1400, and when we square that, x squared plus y squared is equal to 1,960,000. So therefore, the equation that would model the path of the satellite passing through this point, 1400 and 0, is x squared plus y squared equals 1,960,000. Remember that your answer could be different than this. You could pick any number that falls between 1,200 and 1,700 as long as you substitute that value in for r in order to get your own satellite equation.